Okay. Um, about a week and a half ago, I, um, I had a bill that I had to pay in a few days, and I didn't, have, I didn't know how I was going to pay. And it was only for a certain amount of money. And I, I just remember getting this feeling of like, remembering what Jerry had said about, I think in the 60s when he had um, taught people the principles in Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, that some people got it, but most didn't. And I remember standing there and I was thinking, how am I going to pay us or whatever? And some people were just born into an expectation of prosperity, while most that he knew were not born into that expectation of prosperity. And so it was introduced to him for the first time by reading that book. And by reading right. the book, by focusing upon it long enough to finish the pages of the book, he activated a resonance within himself through his reading of true knowing. And he was never the same again. Okay. And so I'm, I'm standing there and I'm like, okay, I have this bill and I'm following, I've read Abraham, I've been here before and I'm like, okay, I feel like I'm here and like you say, the, the bigger you is over here and I'm just not catching up. My because life I have is over this here. Bill, because I have this bill, no, no, because no. I have this bill, well, yes, because I yes. have this bill, because I have this bill, because I have this bill, because I have this bill, want money, 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 have this bill, have this bill, have this bill, want money, have this bill, have this bill. Just gotta shift the airtime. So what I did was I just wrote a check for the entire amount, which was like sixteen times more than it was to begin with. And it was sort of like, look, if I really believe this, I just have to go. I just have to go. I felt like I'm stuck and I don't want to be stuck and I know I'm not stuck and so my higher self or my bigger self is over here and I just need to go I just need to go I need to but make it this step. is not an example of being in the vortex before okay. you write the check in other words okay. we want you to get in the vortex <laughs> get in the vortex get in the vortex before you write the check and then okay. if you're inspired to write the check it won't bounce <laughs> In other words, you don't want to use your willpower. You right. want to use your willpower to get in the vortex okay. and then do anything that you're inspired to do. I thought I was in the vortex when I wrote the check, but since then I've gotten out of the vortex and now the check might bounce. Like I wasn't <laughs> worried about it when I wrote the check, but ever since then I've been vacillating between fear and disappointment and Oh, what did I do? And, well, and then sometimes well, believing and knowing. It doesn't but. matter. It doesn't matter if you find yourself out of the vortex. Just find a way to get back in. In other words, we don't want to say to you. that you should have regret for anything that you've mm -hmm. done we want to say to you you never get it wrong and the reason you never get it wrong is because it's never done so maybe you were in the vortex and maybe you mm -hmm. had that feeling and as you wrote as you because we're reading mm -hmm. your vibration now not then so mm -hmm. okay. maybe you were in the vortex but then you started that's what buyers remorse is buyers you you, you buy it when you're in the vortex mm -hmm. and you were and then the vortex throws you out and you have buyers remorse in other words you're not up to speed with what you want and so it, but the important thing to remember is that at any point you can get back in the vortex and what we want to say to you is that's the most important thing that you do if the vortex spits you out and then you say I shouldn't have done it or what have I done and you get into that worried place that's just more evidence that your thoughts about worry about your financial condition are bogus thoughts in relationship with what your source knows about the abundance that's already been amassed in other words there are a lot of people who would listen to that and say oh Abraham is really trying to get them to to deny reality and and we say we really are we're we we want you because your awareness of reality mm -hmm. keeps you from the movement and the abundance and the prosperity that could be yours if you would stop doing that thing you do so when you when you decide that okay so I wrote the check and I was in the vortex or I wasn't doesn't matter you wrote the check mm -hmm. you wrote the check so so what's the path of least resistance right now to beat up on yourself for writing the check or line up with the idea that you've written the check so mm -hmm. you line th th this is really an important conversation to have with yourself because really there are no absolutely right and absolutely wrong choices just make one and line up with it 
better line up with it and then make it but if you've already made it then line up with it line up with it line up with it make the choice and line up with it or line up with it and then make the choice but there's a whole lot of things that are going on that that you're all in other words you already have made the choice of where you work you've already made the choice of how your money is flowing to you today so line up with it don't every day complain about where you are or every day complain about the conditions not being the way you want them to be line up with it the fastest path that we know of getting in the vortex and this is so surprising to so many people the fastest way we know to get into the vortex is to make peace with where you are because in your struggling against where you are you keep unwanted things active in your vibration where if you'll just make peace with where you are it's like letting go of the struggle and when you let go of the struggle the vortex takes you right in mm -hmm. every single time so what you want to say to yourself to get yourself in the vortex is doesn't matter if I was in or out I am I this is what I've done and I'm glad that I've done it and isn't it good that I was at a place of such positive belief and expectation that I felt the impulse to do something that was really so dramatic good for me this is a sort of precursor to my not ever having to worry about money this is a this is a precursor to my being able to write a check for whatever I want whenever I want it that was the feeling that I was wanting to practice and of course I'm looking forward to there being plenty of financial resources to back up every piece of paper that I write a promise on in other words a check is just a promise for payment and a check in your environment it used to be you could write a check and you had a little float time you didn't have to keep the promise today but today today you don't have any float time when you write the check it's like you got to keep the promise right now and so and and so I'm capable of making that keeping that promise because I'm capable of moving things around in such a way that I can keep that promise and I'm really this is really an indicator to me of what I'm wanting to do I'm wanting to keep my promise to myself I want to keep my promise to myself so let's talk about this do, can you feel oh really good can you feel Feel, ooh, really really good can you feel can you we we really want you to get this this vortex of creation that we've been talking about this is the check that you've already written in other words you wrote the check it's there and the way you keep that promise to yourself is by trusting and knowing and believing and getting the vortex in other words not second guessing I, I, I knew I could do it and I can and the universe has my back and well-being is around me and I am really good at what I do and everything that I want flows to me and I'm in the process of constant becoming and I never want to hold back on my becoming I always want to romp forward in powerful ways I love being a deliberate creator it is so fun to to contemplate and then decide and then promise getting into the vortex is sort of like keeping your promise to yourself your vibrational promise to yourself mm -hmm. and when you keep your vibrational promise to yourself the resources must come to support it it is not possible okay so in that sense then there's really no such thing as a risk really you're there not is, taking risk because once you're in the vortex you just it's the knowing and there believing is no and risk and because believing. there is no lack Okay. inside the vortex and someone who right. really wants to nitpick would say well there's a risk that I won't get in the vortex and we say but why could there be a risk that you that you don't get in the vortex if you believe the vortex is real if you believe in the vibrational validity of the vortex if you have emotions that let you know we could understand someone not believing in the vortex if they never felt joy or pain but the fact that you feel emotions that let you know your proximity to it we know you all have gone too far you can't not know about the vortex you know too much should have put it on the disclaimer you can't go back right. you can't go back right. once you know once life has caused you to go there you've gone the larger part of you is gone and the rest of you has no choice but to go along if you are to feel good if you are to feel good if you are to feel good mm -hmm. so once you understand that the once you accept the validity of the vortex and once you are aware of the constant s sensation of your emotions now you have no excuse whatsoever to not be moving in the direction of the vortex you just have no excuse unless you just want to say I'm just too lazy to focus I'm too lazy to think I have to face reality 
and and to prove it to you I'll tell you about myself when I turn on the television whatever's on I just watch it <laughs> it's really a bummer in the hotel rooms because it's just that one hotel menu that thing. <laughs> I never make a selection with my remote control when I turn on the television then, whatever's there I just watch it then I go to bed any bed it doesn't really matter and and then when I wake up in the morning and I just do all that all over again It takes, it takes a lot of work to focus, doesn't it? <laughs> In other words, but you focus all day, every day. You do, you focus. You have the ability to think and focus. Mm -hmm. And you are discerning about so much that you think about. We just want to playfully <laughs> jerk you <laughs> into the realization that you are a thinker and you want to think and you are a definer and you want to define you want to define the details of your life experience and when you take the idea of your ability to define into the context of the vortex and you realize how much you have defined and now you just do one small thing you see we're not asking you to figure your whole life out you've done that we're not asking you to go back and relive every conversation and every experience in order to know who you are and what you want you've done that we're just asking you to do one small thing focus yourself into the vortex think yourself in bask your way in appreciate your way in get in the vortex 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 and be the cooperative component of all that you've lined up and then watch the way the world has its way with you in other words you'll find yourself inspired and moved in currents and directions that you cannot even describe people will say how do you do that and you'll say I can just feel it how did you meet your mate I just felt an inspiration I it, it was like I could not keep myself from that place and when I went there I could not keep myself from that spot and when I saw that person I could not keep myself from his arms in other words there was no turning back from the inevitable future experience that was already reality all I had to do is get into the vortex by looking for things that feel good and focusing upon them long enough and now the inspiration of who I really am is given to me all day every day by other cooperative components who are reflecting back to me all day every day who I am